no team in Kilmurray last year, it was kind of like either get it together this year or fall apart. And I suppose the reason I came in more so was I have nieces and younger girls coming up along and I wanted something there for them. So then when we just, when I decided to row in, Inda and John and Bernie and stuff got behind it as well. And the commitment from the girls has been outstanding. Like it's been brilliant all year. There was parts of this year that you were wondering, would we get back playing? Then there was parts of the year you were thinking, how long more is championship going to last? And like to be still in it and to make county final and to be playing for as long as you can in the championship is brilliant, you know. We've played re reasonably well now. Like we've done everything we've been asked now by, I suppose, our management and everything. Do you know, you couldn't really ask much more from the girls. They put 100% into everything. Even our trainings now, we're getting girls turning up. There's no bother. Like, Anton, you ask them, be there 15 minutes early, they'll be there. Do you know, you couldn't ask better than that now, to be fair. It is kind of number one in Milton um, football, like, um, within the parish. And whether it is ladies or our men's team, you know, there is always good support for whoever is out. And uh, it's a pity that supporters can't get in next Sunday week. But look at hopefully, hopefully, um, it is great that it's been live streamed and they'll get to they'll get an opportunity to see that too, you know. It's very disappointing, you know, you talk to people and you hear people, they just love to be at games, love to be going to games, you know, enjoying the games. But look, it's it's, you know, it's the new normal as they say and you know at least it's been live streamed and it's been promoted and put out there for everyone to see. So it's a brilliant opportunity to watch it. Ladies football can be strange in that like you can get hit for a couple of goals left right in the space of two minutes. It's not like men, it's not as structured and it's more played off the cuff and there's less system orientated. So I think when they hit the field, all the friendships go aside. But again, no more than I've seen them after some of the games already this year. They're out together in Milltown and they're all socialising at the same tables and everything. So I think for the for the 60 minutes that the game is on, even, even family rivalries will be put aside and everyone will want to win. But once it's all over, it's all left aside again. The girls that know each other, um, I suppose, fairly well. They've all went to school together, and then we had, I suppose, we had four girls, four of the Kilmurray girls playing with us last year: Kira Hickey, Kira McCarthy, Amy, and Maeve. So, yeah, we know each other fairly well, and till I'm sure there'll be a bit of crack around for the week, all right. I'm expecting like an extremely competitive final. Like um, we'd be familiar with an awful lot of the girls. You know, we'd have the height of respect for them. They have an unbelievable team. You know. Up front, they're very good. You know, they're good defensively as well. Like so, they have a brilliant team. You know, we'd be very familiar with them from over the years between schools and amalgamation and things. So, yeah, look, it's going to be a really big game. We're hoping to be competitive. That's all we want, and you know, to be within the final. A rival club, what more could you ask? But no, you couldn't ask for a better intermediate county final than that, I'm sure. Do you know, there's, I suppose, in my house alone, there's a bit of rivalry there with the sister playing full back from. But we wouldn't give too much away now to each other. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, that's a, that's a very unique scenario. Unique is Kira. right, yeah, you could call it that. How, how would you handle that? Like, I mean, do, do you actually talk about football? Oh, uh, well, now, in fairness, in the group stages, we were non-stop chatting about yeah. it. It was always because, like, you know, if they would have played even Fergus Rovers and that, so you'd be like, oh, how are they? Or are they like this or that or whatever? But there hadn't a word being spoken now these days, <laughs> that's for sure. For fear you let Enten out. <laughs> Not even telling her where I'm playing nowadays or anything. <laughs> the rivalry is built up the supporters build it up more than what the players and I know that from the senior county final last year all the players get on great good friends like these girls go to school together they're sisters mm. they play together at school they played together last year and like for us when we started talking to the two Kiras and Maeve and a few of them that played with Milltown last year they absolutely really enjoyed it and for us it was like we felt like when we set up this set up this year we had to bring it to a different level because of the level that Milltown had it at last year with them to give them something to aim at. It's a young it's a young group that we have at the moment like the majority of them are minors or just out of minors and we've even a couple of 16s playing um, look it would be great to, to win it you know but um, like we're under I suppose we're facing a serious challenge in, in Kilmurray next week and they've they've quality all over the place, you know. So look at we're there anyway and if we can get a performance we'll be happy enough with that. You kinda know what to expect from like they're a physical team, they are strong. They've got a few more players in this year. Un same as ourselves really. But it's kind of it's an on the day thing, like you wouldn't be you wouldn't be going in too confident or you wouldn't be going in too scared either, like but it's brilliant to be in another, you know, county final. We were in one last year, and you know, being back in one this year, it's it's unbelievable. You'd feel extremely grateful to be in one. Um, you know, the buzz is good around the place, and it's just exciting. Like we've had like a tough road to get back into the final, so it's good to be here and to be thinking about another county final on Sunday. We really do need everyone performing to the best they can, you know. So 
that's what will get us over the line really because we know Milltown will bring that to us anyway, that's for sure.